Hello friends, my name is Bintu and welcome or welcome back to my channel and to a good old fashioned reading vlog. So for this vlog, I'm going to be reading My Dark Vanessa, as you probably could tell from the title of this video. So My Dark Vanessa, I know that it is a relatively new release. It came out in 2020 and a lot of people have already read it. I have heard people talk about it in wrap ups and things like that. And it's been on my TBR and I just hadn't gotten around to it. For whatever reason, I had the audiobook come in from my library like two times and expire and I hadn't gotten around to it. But this time I was determined to read this book before my loan expires. So I've got the audiobook on my phone and I have the ebook on my Kindle. And at this point, I've actually started the book already. So I'm about at the 30% mark I started reading last night. And boy, oh man, this book is rough. So I am not someone that's very sensitive to um, trigger warnings. In fact, I strongly believe that there isn't really a trigger warning that would keep me away from a book. However, this book is very disturbing. So I think that if you're one of those people that is very sensitive to uh, books in that way, you do not ever want to read this book. Um, I personally am disturbed while reading this book. And again, I'm not usually sensitive to that sort of thing. That being said, I'm still gonna finish it. I think for me personally, what makes this so disturbing is the main plot line is this young 15 year old girl who was abused by her English teacher who's like in his 40s. And because I'm a teacher, it makes it so much harder to read, uh, particularly because uh, the, the, these scandals actually do happen in real life. Like my first year working at my very first high school, uh, something went down similar to this and you know witnessing it play out where accusations were made against a teacher and, and it becomes a game of he said she said and like it's not fun to watch it play out in real life um, but I gotta say it's also not that fun to read about it either so what has made this book creepy so far within the first 30 percent that I've read a couple of things so first of all so there's two time frames here there is the past which is like uh, 2000 and it's actually around the Bush Gore election in the US and then there's present day which I think is like 2017 in this book and so we're following Vanessa in both time periods in the past she is a high school student and in the present she's like a 30 something year old adult so in the past her English teacher is basically assaulting her for, I mean, that's exactly what he's doing, for lack of a better term, that's actually exactly what he's doing. Um, and what makes it super disturbing is that he's doing it in such a way that he's making her believe that it is voluntary. And she is kind of sympathizing with him when she is in reality the victim and when you go to present day she can't realize that you know what happened between them was wrong and right now in present day so apparently he hasn't stopped this because he's facing these allegations of of assault sexual assault by a different woman who used to be his student and that woman reached out to vanessa and is trying to get her to uh tell her story and she is refusing so she's ignoring the woman and she's still in contact with the teacher, Mr. Crane, uh, Vanessa is. So he still has some control over her and her life turned out, I guess, not what you would have expected for a woman that went to one of the most prestigious private schools in the country. Um, she's working like a, a dead end job at a hotel and she has this ex-boyfriend who left her because she can't come to terms with the abuse that she had at the hands of this teacher. Hands down, the worst moment in this book was, it is present day, Vanessa meets with Mr. Crane and she's describing his appearance. And obviously in present day, he's like probably approaching 70 and she's in her thirties. So very big age gap there. And she still wants to be with him and she's still offering herself up in that way. And she makes a comment where she's like, it doesn't work because she's too old now. So for, she's in her thirties and she's too old for someone who's in his seventies who has, who continues to work at a high school. Yeah, this is a lot. I had to, I actually could have kept reading, but I decided that I need to stop where I was and give it a break and I will keep on later today. I don't know where this is gonna go. I'm really hoping that we find out more about what happens to Vanessa in between her time in high school to present day that kind of led her down this path. Like, um, and it probably had a lot to do with uh, mental issues and dealing with this abuse that she still hasn't really come to terms with. So that's where I'm at in my dark minutes. All right, guys, it is the next day and I made a significant amount of progress actually last night. So currently I'm at the 62% mark. So I am two thirds of the way there nearly and I'm probably gonna finish this tonight. I feel like 
if I thought it was bad, it's it's only gotten worse in the sense of what is happening to this poor girl. So I, I don't know how to do this without spoilers. So I'm just going to go into spoilers and I'll make sure to mark the video as having spoilers. That way, if you are actually planning to read this book, you want to tune out now. But a couple of things that happened that I really can't wrap my mind around is so the teacher, Mr. Strain and Vanessa get caught because I mean, they're not even doing a very good job of hiding it and he let her take the fall for it so she wanted to protect him or he basically has convinced her that she needs to protect him and he just lets her take the fall for it she gets kicked out of the school and has to attend a regular old high school and this is probably part of what eventually leads her down the path of i guess lack of achievement given her her potential and what makes it worse is that her mom actually found out so her mom saw the picture that vanessa took with strain while he visited her house um over the summer or something and she just let it go so she knows that what happened between them actually did happen and technically she should have the power to take that to the school and and kind of make him pay for that and i would imagine that that's what a normal mom would do the other thing is so lolita plays a pretty big role in this book i actually don't know much about lolita other than the general thing that i think most people know about lolita and that it involves some sort of um child abuse of the sexual nature kind of like what this book does but basically they are or she considers herself somewhat of a modern day lolita and mr strain to be I think it's Humbert Humbert that's the character. This makes me want to actually look a little bit more into Lolita so I can understand the connections that are uh, being made between these two books. Now, in present day, because of all of the allegations that are coming out at Strain, he did take away his own life, so he jumped off of the bridge. I mean, I think by this point in the book, you don't even really feel sorry for him because uh, what he has done to all of these young girls has been so damaging. And the school had let him back even after all of that. It was just a matter of kids taking, removing themselves from, from his class. Um, I don't know where the story is gonna go from here. Like we've already seen what happened to Strain. He kind of took his way out of dealing with the situation or facing the consequences. And Vanessa seems to be facing the consequences into her in like adult life. There's still a gap there between like her finishing high school and how we end up in her adult life so there's still questions that need to be answered um and specifically how she is going to deal with this moving forward because it feels like she's been portrayed as basically completely damaged by this experience that she had to live through and she's already in her 30s so i wonder where this book is going to take it to uh, so i'm really excited for the last 40 percent of this book it is still just as disturbing as the first part of the book when I read it. Um, it, it can be hard to read at times, but I, I am very curious to see how it wraps up. So that'll probably be my final update after this because I should be done reading this probably later tonight. All right, guys, it is the 1st of February and I am in fact finished with My Dark Vanessa. I actually finished it a couple of days ago and I just didn't have time to film this final update. Um, it's been kind of a crazy week. So first of all, I'm really glad that I finally got around to reading it and, and finishing it because this is definitely a book that's going to stick with me for a very long time. And it's unlike any book that I've read in a very, very long time. It reminds me so much of that book, Speak. Um, I can't remember the author's name and I think it might be YA. I know I read it a very very long time ago um, probably when I myself was in high school and it was really popular then and it, and it had to do with some sort of assault if I'm remembering correctly and it, it kind of moves you in the same way that that book did so a couple of things that happen as we get to the end first of all Vanessa we see more of her in therapy and we see that she's finally starting to accept that what happened to her was in fact wrong um, because all this time she she's been seeing it as something that happened and that was normal sort of like she understands that it isn't entirely normal but she doesn't think something bad happened and she does not believe that she is traumatized when in reality her therapist is trying to get her to realize that she sort of is in fact one of the most powerful things that she says uh towards the end it's like her birthday her 22nd birthday something like that and she says like when she looks back on her life um this is kind of all she sees because so much of her life has been defined by this trauma which makes sense because it started when she was about 15 years old and it continued right up until uh the teacher dr strain um offed himself and so presumably it would have probably continued 
if that didn't happen and she's only just coming to terms with this so um yeah it's crazy to think about uh something so negative defining so much of your life and not being able to get away with it or get away from it no matter how much you want to and one of the more interesting things to come up towards the end that i didn't talk about in my last update is this conversation that happens that i i thought was really good that the author included in here was uh what obligation does she have basically to come forward because there's this reporter that's been harassing her to come forward and and describe what happened to her when she is trying to basically protect herself and and still come to terms with the trauma that she's dealing with and so she talks about the pressure that she feels to to come forward um for the other women that have also been assaulted by this teacher but also doesn't feel like she's quite ready to do that um and I imagine that that is a feeling that uh, someone who's gone through this would experience, right? And it's a um, dilemma that probably doesn't get talked about as often as it should. And so overall, um, I don't even know how to rate this book. <laughs> Uh, I don't I I've sat with it for many many days at this point so like I should know um it's not a book that I can readily recommend to people because of how uh traumatic it is like it's not really like it's not really the book that comes to mind when someone says I'm looking for something to read I'm not gonna tell them to read my dark Vanessa it's it's way too dark that being said I feel like this book did a really important job of providing insight into the mental trauma that someone who has suffered abuse at the hand of their teacher might suffer especially because um you kind of see it somewhat glamorized in the media like when i think back to shows like pretty little liar where one of the students was like in a relationship with her english teacher and that was that was really glamorized on that show and i feel like gossip girl had a little bit of that too i can't quite remember um but you do see it glamorized but never really um the dark side of it um, so when it happens in real life, it is very likely nowhere near as glamorous as it seems to be on these TV shows. And so for that reason alone, I'm, I'm really glad that I have this narrative to look on. And, and that's my experience reading My Dark Vanessa. So thank you guys for following along in this reading vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. And let me know if you've read this book. Let me know some of your thoughts down in the comment sections. If you haven't read this book, let me know if you're interested in reading it. Um, actually, I hope that if you hadn't read this, you didn't get this far in the video because it was full of spoilers. I'll make sure to include that in the title. In the meantime, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.